Hello and welcome to this cryptocurrency technical analysis where together we are going to be jumping straight into the Bitcoin chart and I'll be going over all of the information that you need to know right now. Here we are on a Monday morning. I want you to be as prepared as I am. Thus, I'm going to be sharing my current trades, targets and exactly what I'm looking for next over the rest of this week to come. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get tuned in, block out the distractions and go into what you're here for and that is the best technical analysis available on the web right now. So we currently on the Bitcoin chart are in this really nice sideways range. Okay. From last video, which was made around this section of the chart on Friday, I was explaining why I still wanted to see lower prices to come. After that, we saw another low made and one more low made going into Friday night before a weekend rally up to around $22,000, which was really simply the high of our range, took out the high of the range, got some bearish retest, and then we've made our way down towards the low of the range. So we're in this around five, $600 range, really from 21,500 to around $22,000, right? Just a sideways range, okay? And this for me is a time to remain calm. It's time to remain collected. It's a time to plan for when the breakout of this range comes. Of course, as I've mentioned before, I am in short positions more locally, and I refer to over the past two weeks, okay, I have no longs open anymore from the past two weeks, and I have short positions only from the past two weeks, okay? So I personally would like to see another move to the downside here. Okay, why? Well, because I'm in no long from this range and I'm only in shorts from the past two weeks, right? I've emphasized that quite heavily now. And so personally, I would like to see another move to the downside where, of course, then if we get this next move to the downside, like I would prefer, well, then I can look to take profits on these short positions, potentially. I'll, I'll check their reaction and also at the same time, then take a long position, right? So if I get a nice swing for a pattern failed auction or, or just a nice reaction off of some of my lower levels, that's when I will take my opportunity to potentially take that and then new long position or at least lock in some profits on my shorts, right? Of course, if we just blast straight through my lower levels of support, well, then I don't do either of those two scenarios and I just simply wait for lower once more. For me, this is a level to level game, level to level reactionary uh, trade environment. And until I get one of my alerts or levels hit outside of this range, we really simply have this range to be trading right now, okay? And so... Yeah, for me, it's very similar to what Eagle was kind of looking at yesterday. You know, when we're at the top of the range, at around $22,000, then you look for short positions, right? And when you come back down to the lords, the lower the range, you look for long positions. Okay, so it's fairly simple stuff when it comes to trading this range. And um, for me, as I mentioned on Friday, this is a good opportunity likewise to also, while we're trading this range on Bitcoin, look for opportunities inside other markets. So the stock market right now is opportunities galore. And I also believe that the altcoin market is also providing some very nice opportunities. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, the alt market is down currently. And that's correct. You can also make money while these assets go down. Uh, for example, currently I'm shorting uh, GRT, the graph token, right? So there's opportunities with Bitcoin, the stock market, and the altcoins alike, okay? And, you know, for example, I'm short at the moment on Bitcoin, I'm short at the moment on GRT. So just as we can make money while price goes up, we can also generate income while price goes down. Uh, so that's an important, you know, mechanic of how the markets work, right? You have to have people buying, you have to have people selling, willing to long, willing to short, you know, and that's what makes the market. And that's what makes it so entertaining, right? You have winners and you have losers. Um, so, yeah, that was, uh, for me, the, you know, introduction. And I'd like to just remind you all that we do have two new coaches at Chart Champions. The first being Severin. You can see some of his results here from Friday. Absolutely killing it here. Lovely, lovely session of trading from Severin. And then also, as reminding you, we also then have rivalry, okay? So we have those two new coaches. That's like I've, I've I put over here on Twitter. Really, honestly, after taking on Severin and rivalry, I believe Chart Champions has leveled up totally. Get ready to watch the best traders in the world trading in front of your eyes live. I'm so excited for the next few weeks at Chart Champions. Let's go team. Okay, obviously here we had Eagle with live streams yesterday on Sunday. We had another live stream from Eagle today. So you have myself, Eagle, Severin and Rivalry all here together uh, on the forming the new coaches team, which in my opinion is, you know, 
<laughs> looking for a very bright future indeed. Uh, and, you know, it's for the, for myself, for the coaches, for everybody at Chart Champions trading alongside us. Uh, I really hope you're excited and, and seeing the changes live in front of your eyes and the improvements that we're making. Also, now we obviously have a live trading journal on the website. You know, we're working, 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 working and building every single day. We now have a new journal on the website. This is a fully integrated trading journal within the platform. You've probably noticed, uh, but we have the different coaches doing the daily updates now. We have Igor and myself doing daily updates Okay. On top of that, we now have a new video player, by the way. So if you're interested in even that sort of technical details, you have a new video player, which you can rewind on live streams and all that good stuff. So yeah, for us, it's a time to keep building, reminding what we're here for. And it's, you know, for things like this, providing you an educational space and, you know, glimpses into, um, you know, what it is to be that professional trader, right? So yeah, for us, that's us building as normal. And for me on the charts, uh, it's uh, short and chill, <laughs> as it was through many of 2022. Uh, yeah, as I think I've explained well enough. I'm in short positions, right? I'm looking for lower prices to come. Uh, and my next level below this would be this NPOC here at 21,350, where for me, it's, as I've mentioned before, a level to level game. I like to see the reaction at my next level to the downside. And then from there, there, make an informed decision. Does that level hold? Yes or no? It can be simple as that. Of course, when I have my level hit, I like to see it visually, but as well as that, checking the order flow, right? So that's where I can come into, um, you know, Atis or Exo and check the order flow. I will also mention this. Of course, we're building on the website and I'm also building new templates for you all. So, um, yeah, these templates I aim to finish this week. Uh, so I'm getting this going to be looking to get this out for Friday or Monday at the latest next week. Uh, but yeah, within one week's time, seven days, you'll have a whole new bunch of templates created by myself. Um, and uh, yeah, that's also to look forward to. As I just mentioned before, we just got to keep building, focused on what we're here for. That is trading. That is educating people how to trade in the most efficient and you know best way possible. Period. Right. And I really believe we're on track and completing that goal. So yeah, for me, this was a quick update. Uh, hopefully, you can see just straight to the point. I've explained my bias. I've explained what I'm looking for next, which is downside, and I've given you some levels to be aware of. And again, always for me, a level to level environment. If the level doesn't hold, I really simply keep looking down. Okay, so that's the way I trade it. And then if we get a nice reaction, well, then that's where I can look for my long trade. And, uh, you know, for me, it's, it's as simple as that. Look for the long or take profits on the short. You know, if you want these updates live in the time, because obviously, you know, we do video updates on YouTube sporadically, right? So they're not every day, they're if and when on YouTube. So if you want concrete updates every single day, that's what you can get via chartchampions.com. That's what you then get via the Discord. You get updates every single day in terms of live streams. And then obviously in the Discord, you've got the coaches only, read only channels uh, where you can follow us uh, during the day more actively as well, right? And then finally, you'll have read only coaches only channels from rivalry severin myself and eagle so yeah that was the quick update i wanted to give you today if you want to see more from us as i've mentioned you can get it over on the website so i'm just going to say that cheers everybody thank you ever so much and i will catch you when i decide to do the next video update cheers everybody thank you and goodbye and of course no financial advice <laughs> do your own research and trade some paper demos cheers and bye